Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today we're doing something a little bit different. Jumping into some spell break. Now I got this recording, um, I got this gameplay last night, so I thought I would do a little bit different video for you guys. I'm going to be just chatting with you, giving you my honest feedback of the game so far, whilst I've got the gameplay in the background for you guys to enjoy and watch. Now, um, shameless little plug, this game is on the Epic Game Store, so feel free, if you do want to buy some gold for the game, please use my code, it's it's Mr. O in capital letters. I will pin the link down below in the description um, and I'll pop it in the comments for you guys as well. So yeah, I appreciate every single one of you ha who has used my codes before, whether that's on Fortnite or Rogue Company, any Epic Game Store game. I love you all. But yeah, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Hit that like button. We are on the road to 500 subs. Um, it's been a journey. Uh, I'm excited though. I'm, I'm hoping to get to 500 before the end of the year and then on the road to 1,000 subs. I hope we can do it. I know we can do it. Um, but I can't do it without your guys' support. So yeah. But anyway, Spellbreak. Spellbreak is a brand new battle royale. And before you say it, yes, it is another battle royale, but it is totally different. It's not like any other battle royale. Reason being, there's no guns involved. You're a battle mage, as you can see. You've got classes. So you basically got, I'm the pyromancer here, which is fire. So you've got all the elements. So you've got fire, earth, wind, lightning, frost, poison. And you can actually, the customization is amazing. You can combine the elements together to create dangerous and damaging combinations. Um, as you can see here, I'm just testing out all the different different uh, combinations and spells here. Um, you've got scrolls here, and as you can see, we're, we're trying to loot up. So it's the same as a battle royale in the sense of you, you land somewhere, pick a spot on the map. You have to land, you have to obviously loot up. You, the only difference is when you first, before you start start the game, sorry, you choose your class. So, as I said, I chose fire, which is my favorite at the moment. Um, you can't swap out your initial ability. So, if you can see here on the UI down the bottom, I, on my left click and my Q, that's my main my main attacks. So that's for the the class that I chose. Then, as you can see in the middle, the shift button here. That's my movement ability. You have to find those across the map. There's different ones. There's um, a dash. There's a flying one. There's an invisibility. There's a um, like a, f a floating sort of one. There's loads around the map that you can choose from. But you can interchange that. You can move those around and drop and pick up different ones. Now, just beside that on the right, where it says E and the right click mouse button, I have um, the earth. So. You can change those. As you can see here, I've just picked up a scroll, which helps my passives. But here where it says Epic Lightning Gauntlet, see how I just interchange that, swap that around? So basically find your synergy of which ones you enjoy the most, whether you want to mix fire with frost or fire with lightning, fire with uh, poison, which is one of my favorite combinations. That works very well because you can, you can throw down a poison cloud and then set it on fire to do big damage. But yeah, guys, um, it's a lot of fun. There's a few little uh, things I would like to point out as a, as a con at the moment, is at the time of recording, there is only squads. Now, there is a reason behind this. The devs are a small bunch of friends. This isn't some AAA development team. They just, they, they're gamers. They just wanted to make a game that they could enjoy and that they could, you know, make for everyone else to hopefully enjoy. Um, and the great news is obviously Epic saw something in them and Epic have backed the game. So that's really, really good. But they're very, very community focused and community driven. So they do listen to the community and they have done since the pre-alphas and the closed beta. Betas, there was more than one. And I was fortunate to be involved in some of those. So um, I've got high expectations for this, but I've just had um, some clarification on the Reddit that on Monday, they are going to be Monday. I'll just double check the date for you guys. Monday, the seventh of September. If all goes well, they will be going live on on solos, which I'm excited for because 
random squads is, is not the one. Going up against um, like free stacks when you've got random solo uh, random solo people on your team who literally just they'll either try and they'll either try and kill you off off the rip for some strange reason, or they'll just abandon you, or they'll just run away. Um, and you might be thinking to myself, to yourself, what do you mean kill you off the rip? Your abilities do do friendly fire, um, so be very very mindful of that. If you're playing squads and you throw a fireball down or a tornado or a lightning bolt it will hurt your team and it will hurt yourself so yeah just keep that in mind um the skill ceiling to this game is very high i'm not gonna lie when you go up against some really good players some veterans of the pre-alphas and the betas it's gonna be hard because the combat is so fast paced um it's like a a quake uh, it's like hyperscape there's a lot of verticality there's a lot of um maneuverability like in apex legends as well uh but remember it's all projectile based there's no hit scan so although some of the attacks may feel like the hit scan they're not so you do have to sort of lean sort of have to <sighs> you've got to use your brain basically so like in quake with the rocket launcher you have to predict where the enemy is going to be or where they're going to land and then fire it um which can be very challenging but it's very rewarding as well uh, as you can see here i'm trying to predict where he's going to throw my fireball didn't quite land the shots there but it's all good but yeah another uh issue i do have with this game though currently is the optimization it's not very <sighs> i don't have the the, the the best pc out there granted and i don't have the worst pc out there but I had to limit my FPS to 60 um, so I could record and even then as you can see in, in certain certain moments of this gameplay here it's stuttering it's freezing a little bit because there's so many special effects flying around you know fireballs here lightning strikes here poison clouds you know bloody you name it rocks flying around so yeah it does it's very it is CPU intensive um, so <sighs> I think I'm going to have to upgrade my CPU to be honest, which for most of these new modern games now, my CPU isn't isn't quite good enough. And um, graphically wise, I've got a, uh, those of you that give a shit, I've got an NVIDIA GeForce uh, 1660 GTX. So it's not the best graphics card, but it's not the worst. Um, now that they've announced the 30 series, I am looking to upgrade, hopefully. I'll probably try and get the 3070, but I will need a new CPU for that. So yeah. So if you're like me and you enjoy customization, then this game has a lot of that. You've got, like I said, you've got the class system, but then you've got talent. So all of you OG subscribers there on my channel, you know that I used to play a lot of Paladins. Um, and I was very good at, you know, creating builds for that game, which is one of the main reasons why I really wanted to get my teeth into this game is because you can create builds basically essentially you've got a talent tree so you've got on the on the right hand side here you can see the the uh, above the potions there's two little circles there they're two of my passives now you can have three but you have to have enough uh talent points to uh, you know unlock three at the same time but the good news on that is there's actually a talent tree so you can choose which sort of build you want to run um so it's fully customizable it's unique in that aspect um and don't you worry guys there's a lot to take in i understand i will be making build guides and talent guides um because that's what i enjoy doing but yeah let me know your thoughts down below if you've had a chance to play this one more thing before i do go it's cross play and there's cross progression so that's huge guys so yeah you can play with friends on all consoles and pc but anyway enough rambling I think the game's really good. It's got a good potential. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash the like button. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Take care. Peace.